Hello everyone and welcome back to Metro Last Light Redux. In the first recording session we met a baby dark one, we got captured by Nazis and we made a new soldier buddy. So pretty, pretty exciting times. Oh, and we got attacked by scorpion spiders. That made me poo myself. Um, just quickly, I've been asked to turn the brightness down a peg. So there we go. Brightness has been turned down a peg. Just, just a little bit. It seemed... Uh, it seemed, I guess, like it was just a bit too strange that they weren't seeing me in certain situations when they probably should have been. Uh, so that's what we'll go with. We're almost at the theater now. The metro entrance should be pretty close. But however small the distance is, we'll have to cover it on the surface. And there, every step you take could well be your last. Indeed. A path through the light. Chubak, we're here. Pull yourself together. We don't have long before nightfall, okay? Okay. Okay, with the tunnel collapsed, the only way to reach the escalator down to the other station is cross the surface. And trust me, we don't want to be caught out here in the fucking dark. Nope, probably not. Oh, hello. Oh. Immediately in luck. Have I, I still haven't missed one, have I? Since the day we ended up in the metro, I've gone up to the surface only a few times. The background radiation is too high there, so frequent ventures out translate into grave illnesses to those brave enough to attempt them. One has to stay constantly alert on the surface. The pollution tends to be uneven. There are hotspots which could dole out a lethal dose of radiation in a matter of minutes, while some places could actually be habitable if not for the monster's unbearable gloominess. The eye can't discern between a safe place and a hotspot. You have to use a Geiger counter. You can't go out to the surface without a gas mask either. We used to own the earth. Today, although I still remember that summer day in the gardens with my mum, I almost can't believe it actually happened. I can't believe I used to live in one of those tall houses and look up at the sky every day. It's as if Metro was always my home, but I still miss the world that we lost. Opa, we're in luck, Artyomich. This place seems lived in. Rangers probably, I don't know. Hooray. And when there are rangers? Shit. Short on filters. We'll have to make do. Now come on, take what you need. We're all brothers in the metro. Lovely stuff. Hey, Prieti. I could use a good watch like yours. Knowing how much air you got left is a must, huh? You know, I've heard of things roaming around that even bullets can stop. You have been through some bad shit, I know, but not like what's coming. Artyom, remember. If you want to live, don't drop your guard for an instant, okay? Okay. Oh, can I not open that? Right, so yes, we've got big boy one-shot shotgun, we've got silence pistol, and we've got... Uh... Hello. Whoa, that's impressive. I heard about this place. That plane was headed into Moscow when the whole city caught fire. Uh, the building where it crashed, that's the entrance of the theater. The ice is towing up here. It's almost like spring, huh, Artyomich? Maybe we'll live to see the summer. Well, that would be ideal. I, w I always appreciate being alive. There be an underground path somewhere around here. The rangers would never cross the square out in the open. Man. Okay. I really like the look and the feel of this game. Here. Okay, so much for the sun. Anything in the corners? Nope. What was that? You are my own. Oh, hello. That's a very sudden rainstorm. Oh. Man, I can barely hear him. Good thing I've got subtitles on because I literally could not hear what he was saying for a lot of that. Oh, okay, you can't go up there. Let's keep the shotgun out. That's probably going to be the most vital thing. I feel under pressure now to find all the bloody journals. Because <laughs> I haven't missed one yet, which is a rarity. Not usually one for finding all the collectibles, but... Oh. 
Did I just get... I think I just got a good point for walking in here. Speaking of, I don't think we've talked about this before, but I was... Because I was informed, I think... I think it was after I had already recorded the first session of Last Light, which was the first three episodes. But turns out there's good endings and bad endings, which I'd completely missed. Uh... I mean, in the first one, we got the bad ending, but that was actually canon. Uh, so, hooray. And when the light, when the screen flashes light like that, it's you're getting a good point. And then, like, last time when I shot that one dude that was reading a magazine or something, that was, the noise there was me getting a bad point. Uh, and those are what, the, the actions like that are what contribute to getting a good or bad ending. So I assume it's the same in this one. It seems like there'll be a good ending or bad ending. Uh... We got the bad one last time, so it would be kind of nice to see a good one, I guess, but then if the bad one's canon again... Oh, shit. If the bad one's canon again, then it would also be good to get the canon ending, so... Oh, hello, building. Shit! That was close. Okay, Artyom, no more tricks like that. Let's get to the plane before another pack comes through. Move it! Okay, no. So, yeah, uh, something just to bear in mind, I guess. That's kind of cool. I have stories about this place. Weird shit happens here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, try opening it. I'll give cover. Jump! Oh, blah. Let's try together. <laughs> Moving. Look, Artyom, don't lose your head in here. You understand me? Oh. Okay, let's go. What on earth was that? Oh, yes. Tasty, tasty filter. That's what we like to see. What are these visions I'm getting? Yeah. Wasn't meant to be. I feel... I don't know, I feel... Weird. Yeah, you're not you're not alone on that. Chuck, are you seeing this shit too? What? <laughs> Artyom, what is this? Shoo, are you? Look, they're alive. What? Okay, we're on our last minute of filter here. Breathe. I had to breathe. <laughs> Smoke. Smoke. Ah! 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 Where? Where? <laughs> we need to find we need to find some more air real quick. Oh, hello. The red line is one of the biggest and strongest states in the metro, occupying almost a whole line. But for as long as I can remember, the Reds always used to preach that their goal was the installation of communism throughout the whole of the Metro, the restoration of a destroyed state that used to be based on the ideals of equality and justice. The problem is, the independent stations keep their distance from the Red Line as best they can, 
which means they can't restore the Red State without strife. Yes, the Reds are no angels, but what the Nazis are doing is regular horror, and I'm happy to have an ally like Pavel, even if he's a Red. Indeed. <laughs> What? Will you? If you hadn't woke me, I'd probably have suffocated. Like well, I'm gonna suffocate in here real quick, man, if I don't- Oh, there's one. If I don't find some more filters. Mate, I just gotta have a look around for filters. You don't understand. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, you're gonna have to deal with this one on your own, mate. I'm sorry. I, I can hear that you're doing very well, though, so, you know, keep it up. You're doing great work. Shit, there are no more filters. Now I've got to go all the way back around. Oh, I'm getting very nervous about the filter situation here. How can there be none? For real? For real, there's none. 30 seconds left. Come on, you've got to give me some, right? In here? You? Nope. What the hell was that? Jesus Christ, that made me jump. Yo! <laughs> we are literally about to run out. Fucking watchman, as soon as we moved away from the plane and we were almost there. I don't, it's, I'm gonna die. I'm genuinely gonna die. Apparently I've got a bit of a, I've got a bit of time, but I don't understand. I feel like I was looking very thoroughly for filters. I feel like I was checking every place. And there weren't any. Oh, and it spawned, it's respawned me here with six seconds. Six seconds on the filter. Oh, here's one. Give me the ammo. There we go. Okay, how long have I got now? Is that one minute? That added a single minute. Okay, but again, we're down to 30 seconds now. Wait, where did he just go? Oh, here he is. Follow me. Yeah, quick, mate. Go. Give me a hand. Faster. More are coming. We have you to find the end. Filters. Oh shit. Shit, too many of them. We have to warn the station. Get to the this is this. I'm not even on survival mode. I'm on Spartan mode, where resources are supposed to be more available, right? Oh shit! Is there any down here? Doesn't seem to be. I can't, oh, I can't focus on, like, killing the enemies because I've got to focus on trying to find a filter. This seems very strange. 
Plus I never had filter issues in 2033. There must be one around here. Surely. Anywhere? Well, we're back to about to run out. I'm gonna die again. I don't understand. What does it want me to do? Inside, move. What? Oh, what? Who th I. The theater is around the next corner. We have to move now. Let me have a look around this bit and see if there's any more filters around here. Because there's I don't think there's any inside. Like, I looked around there pretty thoroughly just then. So, surely there's got to be some... This is insane. Like, I don't know who designed this section, but they did not know how to fucking make a level because this is this is just obnoxious that I can't survive long enough to complete the objective because they're not giving me filters to do so. I can't even find any out here. What is going on? Follow me. And I'm dead again. Wow, this is really killing my killing my enjoyment. And I've only just started recording for the day. That is not a good sign. Like, I don't think I could be exploring any better. I found every note, every di diary entry. So clearly I am doing as much as exploring as possible. This guy didn't have anything on him, did he? No. I found pretty much... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Well, that won't be enough for this time because I spent too long getting to it. But for next time... That might be enough. I'm here. <laughs> if I beeline it straight there. Give me a hand. <laughs> They've got to give you more options than that, though. Shit, too many of them. We have to ward the station. Get to the escalator. Hurry up now. Move down, they're still after us! Okay, come on. Open up! Open up! Oh, sh shit! Come on, funny mate. Okay, thank Christ that's over. Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again, and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. 
is very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, yeah, I just don't understand why they didn't put a few more filters around. Like, having to find that one specific filter is very strange. Especially given that I'm not on survival mode, where it's supposed... I'm on Spartan mode where it's supposed to not be difficult to, like, manage the survival aspects like that. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. No wonder it's such a factory today. But hopefully, well, it's waiting for you up there. less of that in future, I guess. <laughs> I just I'm don't understand so how that if it's got put in. Once, the Bolshoi is up there above us. All the actors who survived are here. Well, people come from all over the metro to see the shows they put on. Oh, yeah? So what are they running for? each campaign. We've been in the right all our lives, and now we're freaks? Uh, this happens all the time. <laughs> So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is fitting distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the yep. one they just told Sounds us good. About? Yes, we are. Great. Come in then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here. Huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome. Okay. Have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Oh. Oh, hello. I didn't notice the note. I only noticed the hand symbol come up. Pavel needs some time to set everything up. The citizens of the other stations need a permit to enter the red line. The state in permanent preparation for war readily sees a spy in any outsider. So I have some time to look around the theatre. This station is a real legend of the Metro, not unlike Polis. The difference being that while Polis gathered most of the surviving scientists, the theatre is considered to be the cultural capital of the Metro. Very nice. Well, this sure is relaxing compared to what we were just going through outside. <laughs> nice to not have to stress. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. You want me to give you bullet? Yeah, sure. So, young men, I see you like my witty sign. Aims for it's the man for shunned by the Murders, brave new world. Wars, what? Money changers, even peasants, for Christ's sake. All are welcome here, even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma. You're chatty. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. <laughs> You're a th theater the critic. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say <laughs> in disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They're immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poor souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are played for fools. They say that art only interests... You know what? I believe him that he was a critic. Because he keeps freaking talking. <laughs> I will argue that even the hungry... There are only so many tickets! ...for thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But, sadly, true art is 20 years gone. What remains is... I'm over here. ...perfine trash. I'm over here. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? I just did donate a bullet. You want me to donate another bullet? Uh, Fine. So there are still men, not just marionettes. Anything else? <laughs> no. Can I rob you? Ah, we may as well end it all. 
feast in the time of play. One of the measures an older Shafturer. He told me all about their standards, about the racial struggle to keep humans free from mutations. But really, they're just dumping the dependents. So did you repel that whatever Führer? Wait, I can't tell if it's <laughs> them that are talking. I wish. I did send him flying once. Yeah, it is. Okay. And got summons three days later. He'd cover up the black eye I gave him. So he says that by the new standards, my husband was a mutant. <laughs> wow. Then he goes, but his sentence is up to you. Give me what I want, or he hangs. So, what could I do? Why did you run then? Because it was over. When they released my husband, he asked why. The older Sharfur told him. My husband attacked the bastard, and the guards shot him dead. Jesus. Aren't you worried they'll come after you? Not with the Reds here. They wouldn't dare. But now, I may as well hang myself. <laughs> well, that is a strong feels bad. Jesus. Sorry. Hello. Catch you. Sorry. Yeah, show something we Why? know. What happened? Lydia didn't make it. How? They were That's heading back. A demon so appeared. Like the real thing. We all a hit demon. the ground and what shot the at the demon things? until She's it fled. Talking. No one suffered the scratch. But Vitya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on a brick. And you, you left him there to die. No, Katya, we tried to save him. But it was too late. No, Vitya. <laughs> we buried him there. A good place. We put white stones on the grave. Let her be. This, I like, I like listening to all these stories. You don't really see much of this in the Metro games so far. Lots of demons. We're right, Uncle Misha. This is a demon. Well, it's all right. Let it be a demon. But it's good world building. Be birds like this. Birds? Are they mean like demons? No, they were beautiful. Some were big, but smaller than demons. Birds didn't attack people. They will wake you in the morning with their songs. Now, what animal is this one? Critinus Alice? <laughs> it's a bow and arrow. George, did your dad tell you about beasts like that? No, and he was everywhere. Even the library. Even the park. He saw bear woods. <gasps> Is this a bear, Uncle Misha? It's an elephant. You saw the elephants. <laughs> Were elephants scary? Could dinosaurs be what's left of them? The elephants, oh, they were large. But they never attacked first. Only when they were provoked. But if they got mad, they could stomp you. That's just like a Nosalis. Dad says if a big Nosalis starts running, she stomps everything in their path. Yeah, but Nosalis so don't wait kids. for themselves well, to be attacked. They could be related. They had elephants at the zoo after all. Though they definitely are smaller now if they are the Nasalises. And what kind of... Okay. <laughs> Let's not go to that whole thing. Wow. They've got the whole series. What a great library. When do we become your father? Ah. Have you got enough money to last a week? Okay, I've got a bunch of ammo. Let's get a bunch more, hey? Why not? Uh, there must be a way for me to buy filters, right? Here? No. Really? I can't buy filters here? Hmm. 
Well, come back if you need anything. Oh, maybe you? What am I getting stuck on? Oh. Think faster. Look, there is another twist there. Nope, no filters. You? Nope. <laughs> Surely, someone. Leather. Best leather goods. Wait, what did I? Designs. Low prices. Did I just ring a, a play a guitar? Oh, there. Leather jackets and caps. I see. I guess I can't buy filters. I really want filters. God damn it. I don't know. It's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get a drink instead. You can drink anywhere. This is a theater. Anything goes. But hey, I won't twist your arm. Just don't come back in 10 minutes. When you change your mind, it all be gone. Wait a minute. I gotta think. Think faster. Don't go into peer pressure, my dude. Tourist there. If you don't buy this, he's sure to. All right, all right, I'm taking it. Mate, that is not. No. No. Peer pressure. Uh, thanks, man. If not for you, I'd never get the sucker to buy. If you want some for yourself, come back in the evening. I'm waiting for a new supply. Okay. I won't. Oh, hello. No wonder. The world-famous Bolshoi Theatre is right above that station. There are rumours that there are underground passages from its basement into the metro, and that that's the reason why many of its actors and other staff were able to save themselves on Judgment Day. They founded a new Bolshoi down here at the station. It's a theatre rumours of which reach even the farthest corners of the metro. And since the habitable world ends where the metro lines end, you could say that new Bolshoi is also known around the world. Some say it actually preserves the tradition of its great predecessor. They say that the Earth continues to spin while the Bolshoi still puts on shows. How I wish to see one of those. Perhaps I finally got my chance? What, can we watch one now? Can we just skip the queue? Oh no. Oh, are we supposed to actually join this line? Oh, okay. Pavel's guy's contacts. I guess I can't watch the show. Rip. Did you hear Oh, <laughs> sure. Come in. Yeah, you changed that tone, mate. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Oh, I can? Sure. Maestro, if you'd be so kind. The can can. Hello. Can I, like... Can I sit down? Oh! Oh! Oh, we like this. Oh my god, look at the boob physics. <laughs> the Walter stage has never witnessed anything like this before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race far of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire. Oh with boy. His, uh, terror of our city. <laughs> What's it gonna be? It's gonna be like a dog. Oh. Hey, go! He's tamed one? I was expecting it to be like. You know, not actually a scary animal. Ali, go! Man, how'd you tame one of them? Ali, go! What did 
I'm telling you. Allez! Oh. Stupid freak! Allez! Oh dear. Oh no. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna keep watching this. This is good. Human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. Good joke. When they went back to the traditional recipe, the new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition. Hooray for me. Literally did all the work, and lads. Tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kola Pajarni. I'm surprised at how much there is to watch here, considering I bet a lot of people can just walk but straight past the it. And falls down the bottle. A round of applause, please. I like the world building and stuff. I bet most people would just go straight through. Oh, time for more boo physics. I was talking about this instrument just the other day. I couldn't remember what it was called. You don't see much of it now. Thank you, Thank you Koya. Wow. The harp of my soul will never sound the same. Your music is such a strings with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean. The most scorching spectacle of today. Our fire show. A round of applause fire for show. the performers. Please, please. Oh, that's a cool effect. Behind the curtains like that, that was cool. Looks less cool when you see the actual fire animation. <laughs> that's uh, not quite up to modern standards. I'm pretty sure the ones on the left and right don't actually have a stick. They're just waving their hands and fire is appearing. But, like, the middle one's actually got a stick. The left and right ones don't. Did they just forget to model that? Or is it supposed to be like a ball on a chain or something, but there's no chain? I'm left with more questions than answers. Also, he totally just set that curtain on fire. Incredible! If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charred. <laughs> thank you, dear friends. Thank you. But I must say that, however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> This guy's got more stage time than any more, of the acts. <laughs> the presenter Please is not supposed to be the main Peggy attraction. Virtuoso, the god of legato and demon of tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov. The premier guitarist of the new age. Victor Minchuk with his fantasies. 
with his blood, Please sorry. welcome our virtuoso. I wonder if new guitars are still getting made down here, or if they aren't able to, since, like, it can't be easy to craft a guitar and get the strings on it and everything. I don't even know what guitar strings are made out of. And my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please. How is this yes, such I a long show? Jesus, I was expecting like maybe three legend. minutes. There's been like Michuk a ton. And Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the song of songs. I round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's just these two guys again, okay. Well, it does sound nice in, in duet form. Gotta hand it to them. They know their craft. Oh, get that tempo change. Piano man on the right is out of a job. of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Moscow underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarny. Why, they're actually known as a duo? So why did they play on audience. their own? This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. Hey. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet song. <laughs> Did I just get a good point for that? You get, see, okay, this is like, I don't really understand it doesn't really make sense that you'd get a good karma point from watching a theatre show. But I guess I'll take it. Artyom! No? Enjoyed the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on, you patron of the art. Oh, Pavel Igorvich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? Howdy. You don't like us anymore. Ellen, no, sto, I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. Artyom? No, Artyom? Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Excuse well, me? Yes. yes, it's a hard life without a soft woman, I know. We having dinner? Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? 
Okay. <laughs> Here you are. Do a special from the old stock. Been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great. So, let's drink, Artyom. Down the hatch. Хорошо прошла. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but yeah, uh, home is the best, you know. You know, I've traveled all over the metro, and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, and there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Are you <laughs> sure? I mean, I'm not sure we should be going wow. back out fighting so, if we're getting pissed first. Yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They're freaking eat each other. Sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? Order, order, is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. We are going to have a big boy hangover. Also, I swear, our, our drink is never getting refilled. Bottoms up. We keep drinking it and then... So, Hello, who my are you? Friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job what? to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Excuse me? Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Seriously? Ready? You twat. Welcome back, Comrade Major. It is private. After everything we just went through, 